to hear. So next up, I'm really excited to invite up from Deutsche Telekom, Dr. Clemens Hartwig. Thank you. Hi, Mark. <clears throat> yeah, hello, everybody. Um, in the next uh, 15 minutes, I would like to introduce a little bit uh, what is uh, Deutsche Telekom doing with OpenStack. And I've titled my presentation, Make OpenStack Successful um, in Public Clouds. So first of all, uh, what are we doing as Deutsche Telekom with, with OpenStack? So we have a pretty long year experience um, since 2012 with vari various versions and in various area with OpenStack. So we start, we rely on several products um, on the, one of the early GRIS re releases, uh, which also went live. We have also OpenStack in our backbone activities in the network since 2013. And um, since 2012, and even more intensive uh, since last year, we even rely um, development and test environment, but also um, productive workloads on our most recent baby, which is the Open Telecom Cloud. You could just see um, in the interop challenge accordingly. So Open Telecom Cloud is a very new offering. So it's um, a pretty young baby, just uh, had its first anniversary. And um, we are promoting this offering um, with a slogan, simple, secure, and affordable. So having launched this in April last year, um, we have meanwhile a growing number of internal telecom application on the platform, several hundred of customers. We have also um, a, a growing global coverage with this platform. Um, just in May, we will launch um, another location in Singapore. But however, we have a very strong European identity with that one. And in Europe, OpenStack is in a pretty earlier stage than that what we see here typically in US. So what does it mean? What do we need to do if we want to make OpenStack successful in the public cloud area? So currently, um, public cloud, and especially this in Europe, is very much dominated by the big um, incumbents, Amazon, Google, and also Microsoft. But however, OpenStack has a very, very unique opportunity and strength. And this is related to the entire hybrid story. Because OpenStack is the only ecosystem which is able to serve both worlds accordingly. And this is something what we need consequently to develop and explore. But what does it mean? Currently, especially also in Europe, OpenStack is very, very consistent in its success in private cloud. But what does it mean if we want to really play in the Premier League of the public cloud providers accordingly and compete against them? This competition cannot be won simply over scale. Scale means building large data centers, filling it up with equipment. Here we have clearly to acknowledge uh, they have an advantage of several years to do so. We are doing it in a different way. And our story means hybrid clouds. We want to go with a very simple mechanics into the game, address the right customers in selected markets who want to go for hybrid. And the motivations to go for hybrid, we learned yesterday and today already a lot about that one, are manifold. We want to combine these offerings with one of our core asset, what we have as a network provider, which is our network capabilities, our global network capabilities, and our security. And this means with these assets, we want to drive functional differentiation. But what does it mean? And I want to show you here an example. Let's assume you have a customer base consisting of very strong ERP-based customers, a new market coming along with IoT, and the entire automotive landscape. In Europe, how do these companies typically approach the cloud business? They start either making experience in the public cloud with a big incumbents, or typically they have a private installation of OpenStack into the area. And um, given that fact is, we are no, now want to complement, especially those companies who have already a private OpenStack installation, 
with our public offering because we get the strong demand from the customer base to have this kind of um, hybrid solutions. And if you think this to an end, you can then see you have a very consistent platform having both in your mind and those who, who are currently with the public providers, we want to address then also with our public offering so that then in this individual namespace, we have a very consistent view about the Cloud platform. However, this is not the end of the game. And here, one of the strengths of OpenStack comes into the game because uh, in future, ERP, IoT, and automotive, these clouds will have to be connected with each other. And having then a consistent platform based on the same ecosystem and same technology gives you a unique advantage and makes your life easier to integrate. But what's required for that one and where we are with that game? So first of all, um, the success factor of winning this means we need to establish standards by interoperability. And we saw a very impressive example how this could look like. But in many cases, we are not yet there. Um, we see a lot of challenges when customers come to us and have a homegrown platform, how to make them interoperable in detail. This requires integration work. This requires common project work. And here, we need to drive the standardization forward. A consistent user experience is, is also key. Many of the different, uh, different distributions of OpenStack currently have too much divergence here, which is, from our perspective, not necessary. In Germany, especially, and also in Europe, certificates are very important. Meanwhile, we have more than 140 different regimes which are related to cloud to which you could uh, be compliant. And here is, a, is really the name of the uh, game for the OpenStack community to select a consistent and compelling um, one subset to make this uh, hybrid story successful. We heard from the colleague from Intel uh, who says, um, we have meanwhile solved the um, enterprise readiness prob problem of OpenStack. However, we have in Europe a debate around that one, not la uh, last but not least driven by the recent out outages of the big public clouds, um, Amazon and Microsoft. Um, we at the OpenStack community, and this is our strong belief, need to determine this debate because um, European customers are in many dimensions rather reluctant to adopt new technologies, and this could definitely help us to speed up the game. Also a debate we have in the area of public cloud offerings that we, we as OpenStack are always compared uh, with regards to features and functionality with the big players. This means that we have to strengthen and do not um, leave the innovation power and the innovation force of the OpenStack platform and to, to uh, close still existing gaps that, that customers might see in this area. Also an appeal is keep uh, the community strong. Um, still many distribution uh, providers do not sufficiently feedback their improvements in detail to the uh, community into the upstream. And this is what we like to encourage everybody to really um, value the community and um, make it with that also successful long term. And then there's a pretty dedicated set of features around the entire federated identity and access management. If you want to combine existing private cloud with public cloud offerings, many customers request for this. And this is a dedicated feature set where we believe um, we can also make a big differentiations against the big ones. Together, from our perspective, we will be successful in this area. We as Deutsche Telekom, we will continue to invest in the platform and in, in, into the service based on OpenStack. We will share our experiences and learning with the community. And we will also drive quality towards carrier-grade solutions. And this is also our um, back to the community. Invest into the interoperability piece and avoid <coughs> fragmentation amongst the different distributions. And help us to push for the right quality in features and um, um, reach the carrier-grade level, um, as we call it, with utmost stability of the platforms. 
With that, I would like to thank you for your attention, and I would like uh, to inform you uh, visit, to visit our presentation of our experts or to visit us directly on our booth um, at stand B4. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.